So what is your name again and your job title? My name is Jessica Meir. I'm a NASA astronaut and I was selected in the most recent class of astronauts in 2013. And what is it like to be on the first class of astronauts or 50% women? It's been a very exciting process just to be part of the class in general, and I think the fact that we are 50% women really just shows where we are now. You know, it's not really surprising to us. None of us have ever felt like we couldn't do something because we're a woman, which I know we're very fortunate for, for all of those that paved the way before us. But right now, we're just part of the team, and that's what's so exciting. Everyone's working together to, to complete the job. Yeah, and so what has been the most challenging since you uh, started your training? The most challenging is, is probably the transition going from our previous career. The cool thing is that we're incredibly diverse. My classmate Victor over there is a Navy test pilot. I have a background as a scientist working in academia. So everybody sort of had to adjust what their backgrounds and what they were used to to what we're doing now. Um, we have incredible, incredibly diverse tra training. Um, every day is different, ranging from flying airplanes to learning how to operate the spacesuit, speaking Russian, learning about the different systems aboard the International Space Station, and learning how to use the robotic arm, so all are challenging in different ways, uh, but all very exciting and rewarding. So how much training do you go through, like how many years? The first years of what we call astronaut candidate training is about two years, and that's learning all of these skills that I just described that will help us later when we're assigned a mission. So after those first two years, we've demonstrated proficiency in all these areas, then we maintain that proficiency by still doing some of that in the background, as well as getting jobs on the ground. For example, I'm right now assigned as a Capcom, a capsule communicator, which is a position in the mission control room that actually speaks to the astronauts that we have in the mission control room various disciplines, flight controllers that represent all the various disciplines, the different systems aboard the space station. We have the flight director that's in charge, and then one person is responsible for funneling the information back and forth to the astronauts, and that's me as the captain. Awesome. And so are you hoping to go to Mars? You know, one day, maybe, right now, I'm just setting my, my sights on what we have in front of us, and that's our very active presence on the International Space Station. We have had a continuous human presence on the space station for 16 years now and we'll be supporting those missions for many more years to come. So that's what I, I first have my eyes on. Hopefully in the next few years I'll get assigned a mission on the International Space Station. Great. Thank you so much.